Is that how it is? We're live. Just adding Elton on in. All right. This is the first time yeah. I've ever done this, by the way. Everyone tuning in. Live with Elton John. I wonder if it's the first time he's done it. Is it down here? We've invited him. He should be in here. We're just waiting for them to accept on their end. Cool. But you're live with everyone now. Hi, everyone. Hello. This is going on. Go no. invite him again. Elton John is unable to join. It's a bit of that down, isn't it? Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, you. How are you? I'm all right. Is this the first time you've done this? Uh, the first time I've done this, yes. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, you're breaking my Instagram live, Cherry. I can't hear you very well. Can you speak up? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Okay. All right. right. I just said you're breaking my Instagram live, Cherry. Ah. <laughs> right. Um, so <laughs> we're meant to ask each other questions. Um, so where are you and what are you up to, Elton? I am in my dining room at Windsor. And um, what am I up to? Well, I've just spoke, speaking to you. I've been waiting all day to do this at 5.30, our time. Um, and where are you? Uh, I'm in Malibu at Courtney's. Um, I arrived yesterday and, um, yeah, I woke up at like 3 a.m., a bit jet lagged, but I'm having a coffee and uh, life is good. I'm doing the jingle, jingle ball tonight for Kiss FM and, yeah, everything's um, good. Um, so you're staying with Courtney Love? No, 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 Courtney Cox, you've been, you, you've been here before. I know. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, All right. Right, so then it says, say how excited you are for the track to be out. Ask what people think of it if they've seen the video. Um, well, Elton, are you excited? It's been a long time coming be because we wrote the song in the summer and then we recorded it. Um, and then, of course, you put your album out and you were all over the place. Um, and then finally, we got to, uh, to release it today. Ta-da! <laughs> Oh man, it has been a long, long time coming, but I'm super happy it's it's out. And to be honest, if you'd have said last Christmas that it would have happened, I, I would have because um, at this point last year we hadn't even spoken about it. So um, yeah, I'm really I'm really happy it's. Well, um, I, well, I phoned you at Christmas and said, "How about doing a Christmas song for you to write a Christmas song?" Um, you said, "Well, I don't know," but and then we talked about a duet, and you said, "Well, not till 2022 uh, because of your incredibly hectic schedule." Uh, but then you caved in, as you always I do. do, under pressure and under threat. Under actually. pressure. Yes. You can, uh, <clears throat> I sent some heavies around and said, listen, it's got to come out this year, okay? I know. And they were very, 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 very uh, persuasive. Um, no. So that is how it came about. Talk about where and how you are both spending Christmas. You're, you're spending Christmas at home, right? I'm spending Christmas here in Windsor with the boys and David. And then they're off to Switzerland on Boxing Day to go skiing. And I'm not going skiing because I've had a hip transplant. So um, that would be rather foolish. And you are going to Italy or not? Uh, I am going to be in England. And um, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to try and see my friends because I haven't seen them um, pretty much all year. Um, definitely see my family, definitely see Cherry's family. And yeah, I think we're just going to go with the flow, to be honest. Okay. See what, um... but it, won't, it won't take long to uh, to see two people, will it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, okay, um... wait. Are there any uh, in brackets suitable for broadcast stories about your friendship with Elton and Christmas? <laughs> no, there's nothing I can put that's suitable for uh, this broadcast in this. Nor can I. I want to tell it all. About, it all involves around filth, basically. <laughs> Everyone on um, Instagram Live, I actually had to ring Elton before this, so we got all of our. Uh, yeah, um, stuff out before we got online. Yes, but well, you see, we've known each other for so long, and we've been friends for so long that the more we know each other, the more we um, 
um, play tricks on each other and play <laughs> pranks on each other. And it's a great friendship. And to everyone listening, I mean, we we have the most wonderful relationship. Um, uh, and and that's really how the song came about. I have never done anything with Ed on a record. I played up in the Grammys with him and I played at Wembley Stadium with him. Um, but I've never really done anything on a record with him. So it was just wonderful to do this record and have fun. I mean, we wrote another two songs, uh, which will come out whenever. Yeah, we did. We recorded them with um, Steve Mack, who is actually technically King of Christmas because he, he did all the Westlife songs and the uh, X Factor songs as well. So this um, hopefully will be another... Christmas. We have a great song called Pull My Christmas Cracker. Now, Christmas crackers aren't really known in America, but they're traditional English things that you have at the table. And uh, you pull them and then it goes bang. And then there's a gift in it or whatever uh, and a motto. And they're usually horribly cheesy jokes and mottos, but it's tradition at Christmas. And it's one that I look forward to. Uh, it says here, what's my favorite part of Christmas dinner? Well, I like pulling a cracker. I like pigs in blankets. I like, like that. And, and sprouts. And um, by the way, Elton, the guy at yours who uh, cook, uh, cooked the sprouts the other day was phenomenal. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, what is the best present I've ever given you? I can't say that on this air, on the air. Um, but you did give me a lovely painting that you did. So that's. Oh, yeah. 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 You gave me a, um, for my wedding present, you gave me a, a beautiful photography um, picture of uh, lots of naked. Uh, yeah, lots of naked men around this old woman, wizened up old Russian woman, yes. Um, <laughs> um, what do you think my favourite Christmas movie is? Um, God, that's difficult. The, uh, the Grinch Gold, How the Grinch Gold Christmas? That is a good one. No, I would, I would say Love Actually, but I, I love Black Adder Christmas Carol. I know that's not like a movie, yeah. but that, that I think is my, my favourite. What's, what's your favourite? Bad Santa. Amazing. I love that. Um, what what Christmas song do you wish that you had written? Oh, I think the Christmas song itself, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. That mm. one is so beautiful. Or White Christmas, obviously, because that's such a great song too. That 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 is a good one. Yeah, I don't. What know about you? What... Which one do you want to write? Step into Christmas, obviously. Obviously, step into Christmas. Yeah, yeah obviously. Step... Well, that's that's what. Um, uh... Yeah, I mean, that, that's what basically started this song off was um, yeah. Step Into Christmas coming back every year. I would say The Darkness, Christmas Time, Don't Let The Bells End. Okay. Um, and do you know that with that song, they were trying to get Ring Peace and Bell End in a song on the radio? And they really? managed to it. Just let them ring peace. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, okay. they're in our video, which is great. So we have some, uh, yeah, they are. They are, they are yeah. in our video. So we've got some questions from the fans. Um, how right. did we first meet? Uh, well, I was signed to um, Rocket Management, and we yeah. met actually at a Rocket Christmas party. But... In you just had um, Zachary, I think. Yeah, just. So it's ten years. Was, ago. Yeah, he was a really, really small baby, and it yeah. was uh, James Blunt and Lily Allen. I remember was there. Yeah. And I remember meeting you it was bef just before I signed to Atlantic and just right. before I put out the number uh, five collaborations project. Um, no, that was not. That's 11, 11 years ago. 11 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Zachary be, that would be um, 11 this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Elton, what is your favorite outfit in the video? I think I know the answer to this. Um, I think your Mariah Carey outfit is the best bit in the video because I'd never seen your legs for a long time. And they... You know, good, right? You've, uh, you've really looked after yourself in the last year and a half, and you've got you know what, my... rather lovely legs. Thank you. Well, do you know, so since I was a kid, my legs have always been really, really muscular. I think because I've just done a lot of sport and jumping up and down on, on boxes. But um, but yeah, thank you. They're super pale, yeah, though, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get them out too much. I wouldn't look so good in it. Well, uh, who do you think wears the Gucci tracksuit better? This Me. is a question. Yeah. You yeah. are king of, king of Gucci tracksuit. Although yeah. I did manage to take that one home. And oh, good. It's comfy, man. It's really comfy. Yeah. Um, Elton said to me when I finished the Multiply tour, he said, uh, for God's sake, what, what, whatever you do, don't get elasticated trousers. Um, and <laughs> I did. And um, it all went downhill. Um, right, Elton, what is your favourite Christmas tradition? Uh, opening the Christmas presents with the boys. Or decorating the tree with the boys. I love that. Yeah. No, they love it so much. And we, that is a real good in, uh, tradition in this house. Uh, we have a big tree in the dining room and they have their own room, playroom and they 
have a tree of, uh, of their own and we love decorating it because they, they're very strict about what goes on it. My, uh, my parents, when I was, when I was little, um, used to say to me and my brother, when all the pine um, uh, needles had fallen on the floor after Christmas, yeah. and this is actually really smart for any parents listening, they go, right, um, for every single pine needle you pick up and you have to pick up individually, you'll get one penny. And you go, oh my God, that's, that's amazing. And you sit there for about five hours. And at the end of it, you get about like one pound 50, but you, cause you're just <laughs> carefully. And they got basically very got, parents. yeah, <laughs> they basically got um, <laughs> Boxing Day off, which is, now, which is cool. Can you say Merry Christmas in any other language, but the, other than English? Oh um, yeah, bu uh, buon, Buona Natale, um, yeah. Joya Noel. Um, uh, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, yeah. And I, you know the Russian one. Which one? Russian for Happy Christmas. What is it? Bagarovsky. Ba 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 Bagarovsky. Oh, Bagarovsky. Actually. Yes. That's so cool. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then you're meant to ask me how it felt to wear Mariah Carey's dress. Um, it was slimming, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, well fitted. Um, thankfully, the uh, the shorts weren't too tight too tight um but yeah it was uh it was good i'm so happy this is out by the way elton and thank oh, you for me doing, too. yeah doing this it's, it's, and... i'm so happy with the record and the video and everything it's just you know we've had such a miserable two years and it, we wanted to make a really happy song um and we mentioned during the song that people have gone and people we've lost people during the year and uh, you know uh, I, I think it came out really really well and you know working with you was fantastic and uh, we had so much fun we wrote the three songs in about an hour um, and it didn't take long to record it either. So, you know, I think it, uh, it, it was unexpected. And I've had so many unexpected things happen to me this year uh, with the album and, and the Dua Lipa single. And so this is the icing on the cake for me, you little sausage. <laughs> well, it's been a fantastic year, man. And um, yeah. I'm so happy to end. And for you too. With... I mean, a number one album everywhere in the world. Um, brilliant. And, uh, and you're off on tour next year, which is a huge tour for you. And you're back, and you're, and you're back and on tour. I'm, <laughs> picking up where I left off in uh, Australia, 2020. So we'll be um, we'll be passing each other in uh, in in uh, God knows where, but we'll probably meet up somewhere. But, I'm, well, I'm going to have you know, to come to Dodger Stadium. I have to come to that. Yeah, that's my last two shows in America is at Dodger Stadium in November next year. So yeah, well, I'll be there. All right, I'll be there. Well, have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you when I'm back for all, all the right. stuff. Come back soon and we're doing, we're doing a TV together. So I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. But we can't say what yet. We can't say No, what we can't say that. No, no. But anyway. it's uh, loose women. All right. Bye. <laughs> Love you very much, Owen. Bye. Nice one. Bye.